Okay, I'm going to do a quick video. Maybe this will help. You guys, uh, I have a mobile food unit, a mobile food truck, and we pay our employees cash and we pay them weekly. So sometimes, you know, maybe these employees may need a check stuff. Uh, maybe they're getting an apartment or trying to buy a car or trying to get something. But I'm going to show you what we do. You can go to this website right here. And there's a few websites out there. I've done another video on one called uh, Check Stub Depot. But I found out that this one is a little bit better. It's called Check Stub Maker. So you can just click right here on that website. And I'll put it in the link below. I'm going to just double click. And this is the website www.checkstubmaker.com. And I'll put it in the link uh, below in the description of this video. But the only thing you need to do is go onto this website and it costs $8.99, $8.99 per uh, check stub. So what you want to do is click here, say bill your pay stub. Once you click on it, and you can also chat right here. You see I had was chatting. I was trying to get a paycheck stub for one of my employees. So I'm going to just downsize that first what you want to do we're going to say the state we're going to say texas state of texas and that person is single you, we want to pay them weekly you can pay bi-weekly monthly so we're going to pay and what we're going to do is pay them by hourly let's say uh twelve dollars an hour 40 hours a week and say hey we want to do a period of uh year to date so we're in the new year we we'll say 52. It's 52 weeks in a year. We're going to say, you could say contractor, it'll take all of this right here, the federal income and all that stuff off. So we really hire a contract. If you don't check the contract, it'll automatically calculate this information for you. So we're going to do a contract right here. And you could turn on and off automatic calculations right here. And then you go. We're going to put the company name, put J. Harvey's Grill and the address. I'm going to just put an address right here. Um, and the employee name will say John Doe. And we're going to put an address. Uh, let's say the address is 15120. Lock view. We just put in something there, and you put a last four digits of their social security number. We put one, two, three, four, and you can put right here the date you want it to start. Let, let's go right here to pay date. I want them to get paid this Friday, which is the 17th, and then I want the ending periods to be. I paid them on this date, so usually it's a uh, a week behind so I'm gonna go from the 5th to the 11th and then they get paid the 17th I hit apply as you can see this is the reporting period and then a week later is the pay date and you put a contractor number uh, uh, 6789 whatever you want or you can put the last of their social security number and right here it tells you, hey, their hourly rate is $12 an hour, 40 hours a week. It automatically calculates the number, which was $480 for that week. And you notice that it has no FICA or federal taxes because I clicked contract. And this is based, if they work the whole year, this is based, hey, they would make $24,964. And as you can see, see in it to year to date, deductions year to date net pay and this the total for this check right here which is four hundred and eighty dollars say for instance you want to print two you just click this drop down and say hey I want two for two weeks so it'll give you two weeks and you notice that you look at this right here this is on the 17th is check number 1960 and then number 1959 so this the week before so you could click on this this right here is the pay date. So the next pay date, you know, I paid them on the 17th. It would be the 10th. And then you can go here. If I paid them on the 10th of January, 
that means they had to work in December up until the 4th and I hit apply so now you got two paychecks this one the first one was from the 5th to the 11th and he got paid on the 17th the second one is a week before that the December the 29th through January the 4th so you can hit preview there you go this is the first check which is check number 1960 um, is showing this date the reporting date and the end date and you click this button right here to see the previous check as you can see the previous check and you notice that that pay date um, I need this 29 to 4 so that should have been a 10 so let me go back and edit that so this pay date needs to be the 10th because they worked the week before that <clears throat> and hit review let's look at this again there you go and sometimes they have a like a little default thing I know it did me like that a couple of times to where it didn't save it it went back to another date it went like it finished here on the first fourth and it paid them on the fifth but we paid the following week okay and once you make every make sure everything is okay you hit the submit and then it asks you for your credit card information you see the total right here so you go through the process and enter your information and once you hit place order you can once you place the order you can download that paycheck stub and it'll take all the watermark inks out so it won't have all of that uh, water amount inks so I'm, I think I got one downloaded here of my employee let me you know it's a contract work we pay 1075 and this is what it actually looked like so thanks for watching